My name is Mark Simpson and I am the founder of a company called Boostly and uh, Hostfully have reached out to me to ask on some cost cutting measures for um, STR or just hospitality owners in general. Um, I'm currently sat here in the Granary Farms Day in uh, Scarborough, North Yorkshire in, in the United Kingdom. Um, this is a, a sixth generation farm. It has been a, a hospitality business now for well over 30 years and um, we have definitely had to, over the years, had to look at cost cutting exercises. And I wanted to just share with you just three things that you could be doing right now to cutting down on your costs. Uh, number one, number one is probably the easiest. If you just get out a statement, just print off your bank statement for you know the last uh, three months. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through each single transaction for your business. Look at um, all of the spends, and what you want to be doing is you want to be numbering them between one and three. So one is an essential; it's something that you you can't cut down on. Um, you know, you're either you're paying the lowest rate possible, or it is an essential; it's a necessity for your business to be able to to grow. Um, number two would be it's important, but at a push you could potentially cut it. And number three is a non-essential. So what you're going to do, go through every single one of those transactions. This could take you a couple of hours to do, but this couple of hours could save you thousands of dollars over the next six to 12 months. So um, go through each one. And what you'll do is you'll have a list. You'll have all of the ones in one corner. You'll have the twos and you'll have the threes. And the most simplest thing that you're going to do is just cut the threes straight out. Uh, over the course of the next three to six to 12 months, cash is going to be king. You need to have as much cash reserve in your bank account. You want to be able to cover for potentially six to 12 months. We don't know how long this is going to go on for. We don't know um, what the knock on effects are going to be from this. Um, in an ideal world, specifically hospitality, when people come down, um, from the back of, of these lockdowns, they want to be traveling again. You know, they want to be uh, coming to stay. They want to have a break. They want to have something to look forward to. So if out of all the industries that there is, I think the hospitality industry, you know, the short term rental industry is going to be one that will see the most immediate bump on the back of it. So you've got to be ready. But at the same time, you've got to be cash positive. You've got to have cash in the bank. So if that means cutting back on any investments that you've had, you know, please you know try and stop that put it into your cash if there's any unnecessary spends again that's one of the key things that i want for you to be doing right now look at um what you've generally been doing look at the advertising spend that you have been doing over the sort of the three to six to, to 12 months and what you want to be doing is you want to be looking specifically when it comes to advertising with what you're doing if you're paying for any print ads if you're paying for any banner ads if you're paying um for positions on blog posts go just go through the 80 20 rule so go for each one and google analytics will be able to help you with this your booking engine will be able to help you with this but look at which 20 percent of your actions are bringing in 80 percent of the profits okay and if they're uh, is say one or two or three channels, then double down and focus on them. Anything that's not working, then just get rid of it. Again, this is not the time for sentimental value. Get rid of it if it's not working. One thing that I really encourage everybody to not stop doing, and this is really important, is this is to utilize social media. This is to utilize your email list. Email lists, social media, blogging on your website is all free. And if you can start doing that now, building up your brand, sort of showing and communicating with your previous guests and anybody that has potentially booked with you already who has had to move their dates um, further down the line because they can't currently come and stay with you now, then this is where it's really important that you're dedicating a lot of your time. The beauty of this is that a lot of it is, is free, there's zero cost. Or if, if there is a cost specifically with email marketing, it's very, very low. But those of you that are being proactive in this stance, it will come back and pay you back a hundred times when the travel restrictions are, are dropped and people are allowed to travel, they're allowed to go and stay places because you'll be top of mind. What my fear is, is that you watching this, wherever you are, you stop and you stop promoting your business, you stop marketing your business, you stop trying to sell your business because if you do that, then you'll disappear 
because I guarantee you when this is all over, the OTAs, the massive search engines and um, you know, TripAdvisor, Booking.com, Airbnb, they're gonna be pumping a serious amount of money to make sure that they are seen. But you've got a massive advantage now where you can just go in at a micro level and just communicate, build your brand, document, you know, share stories, do all the things you've never had a chance to do before. And if you do that well, you will prosper and you will not only survive this situation that we're in right now, but you will thrive on the back end. If you wanna get more tips like this, um, I've got a ton of them. I'm doing live videos every single day on my Facebook page. If you just go to facebook.com forward slash Mr. Mark Simpson, if you go there, you can watch all of the live videos that I've previously recorded and all of the ones that are in there. Every single day in April, I'm going live, bringing in experts from, from around the world, from hospitality and further beyond to share tactics and tips on how you can not only cut down on costs, but you can also be proactive with your marketing. So please go and check that out. If you want to get a little daily boost from me, I've got a little WhatsApp uh, group going, boosted.co.uk forward slash daily boost come into there, come into the channel. Every day I'm just sharing act actionable little tactics and tips. Love to see you in there. Thank you so much for Hostfully for inviting me to doing this. Uh, I hope this has been some help. Again, it's Mark Simpson at Boostly, at Boostly UK on all the social channels if you want to come over and say hi.